So for the OF2 molecular geometry, we'll look first to the Lewis structure. We know from valence shell electron pair repulsion theory that the atoms and the lone pair of electrons around the central atom, they're all going to push away from each other. And that's what's going to give OF2 its shape. So we have two fluorines, but we also have to take into account these two lone pair of electrons here when we determine the molecular geometry. So you can imagine those four things pushing away from each other and giving you a shape that looks something like this. Here we have the oxygen in the center and then the two fluorine atoms over here. It's also important to note that there are two pairs of electrons on top of the oxygen atom. We'll have a pair over here and then kind of on the other side another pair. So that gives us a three-dimensional structure for OF2. We call this a bent molecular geometry. We could also use the AXN notation to determine the molecular geometry for OF2. A, that's that central oxygen there. X, that's the number of atoms attached to the oxygen. There are two fluorines. And then N, that's the number of lone pair electrons. We have two pairs of them, so we'll put a 2 right there. You could have memorized that AX2N2 is a bent molecular geometry, or if you had one available, you could look it up in a table. So as we go down our table here, we have AX2, 3, all the way to AX6, AX2N, and there's AX2N2, which is a bent molecular geometry. The bond angles are about 109.5. And we can look back to our three-dimensional structure and see that this angle right here is about 109.5. Probably not exactly that, but pretty close. So that's the molecular geometry for OF2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.